the the notion that we are regionally interdependent through trade. And、uh, I know that a lot of you know free trade advocates, for example, would say that, hey, of course, you know,、uh, we may be limited living here in a water scarce. Area, but that shouldn't, you know, that shouldn't stop us from getting water. So can't we just get it from somewhere else, or can't we trade for what we need? Actually, the ecological footprint just describes how much we use as compared to how much is available either within our region or within our country、uh, or within the world as a whole. Now, the only certain fact is that we don't have too much trade between planets. So overall. For everybody who net imports, there has to be somebody who net exports. Now, if we already run a net Deficit worldwide, there seems to be a problem, and so ev- so so we can't just all imitate. For example, Holland. Holland uses about six times the area of Holland. South Korea, that used about one South Korea in 1960, is now using about six South Koreas. So, great success in some level. On the other hand, if everybody imitated South Korea and we all used six times more than what our region produces,、uh, then、uh, we don't have six planets, at least according to NASA. Right, and for the record, how many、um, United States does the U.S. actually use? Actually,、uh, the United States is very well endowed with biological capacity, so very lucky. It's about three times more capacity in the United States than、uh, per capita average worldwide. So very lucky. At the same time, the United States still uses about double of what um, um, what is available with the United States.、So、it takes two United States to support the current consumption pattern of the United States. And、uh, tell us actually now we're, we're going to move into actually a pledge period fairly soon, and I'm wondering if you can actually start to describe some of the books we're going to offer.、Uh, one of which you wrote, our ecological footprint, reducing human impact on the earth. Another which is written by Donella and Dennis、uh, Meadows, which is、um, limits to growth, the thirty-year update. But, yeah. So, so the first book is just kind of a, a simple, even cartoony summary of the key ideas about the ecological footprint, just as an introduction. Already about ten years old and. Uh, uh, but I think still captures the key ideas.、Uh, but even perhaps more interesting is the other book, Limits to Growth,、uh, which is now 30 years after the、uh, worldwide bestseller coming out.、Uh, just looking back and say, what,、uh, how did our、uh, our calculations hold up? What, 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 what when we look back 30 years? And interestingly enough, this book actually I was 10 years old when it came out. Inspired me. My father told me about it and said, "Wow, that's really an interesting book." And inspired me to go into ecological design, become an engineer in renewable energy, etc. And now, 30 years later, actually, they're using the ecological footprint to basically explain their concept in more uh, uh, approachable and accessible terms to the public. So we're very pleased to see how what inspired us now is a contribution to them. You know, and one of the things that I wanted to make sure that people um, got um, as we as we are going to have to move into pledge pretty soon is、um, some more information actually on some of the resources that we've actually talked about, like the place, like for example, where Berkeley Eco House is, so you can take a look at some of this stuff and you know, feel it and touch it and if, not see the insulation, but at least you know you can you can walk through the house and um, and also um, if we can also have Anne talk about where you can actually take this footprint quiz. Well, Berkeley Eco House is not at the moment open to the public. It is a residence with our with, and we have tenants. But we do have an open house on the last Sunday of each month.、Uh, actually, the fourth Sunday of each month. The house is at 1305 Hopkins Street in Berkeley, which is at the corner of Peralta. It's about a five-minute walk from the North Berkeley BART station for those who want to go the right way. And、um, as I mentioned, you can see most of what we have from the street, but it's not of open to tours. Except the we have garden workshops on the last Sunday. I'll I'll suggest another place that would be happy to have visitors in Berkeley is the Shorebird Nature Center down on University Avenue, 160 University Avenue, in Berkeley. It's in the Marina District, and it has a、uh, photovoltaic system. It has hot water solar heating. It has straw bale construction. It has a whole variety of ecological material, including countertops made out of recycled glass that was collected from Berkeley's recycling program. So it's a wonderful showcase, and it's open. Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, from nine to five. Their phone number is five one zero six four four eight six two three. So again, that's the Shorebird Nature Center in the Marina District、um, in Berkeley at six four four eight six two three. That's six four four eight six two three. If you want to give them a call, and actually, if you could tell us Anne、um, a little bit about the quiz, a little bit more about the quiz and where you can actually take it yourself. Okay, the quiz is a great sustainability tool, and I first want to say that a lot of people have fear of footprint; they don't even want to know. But I urge people to go ahead and give it a shot,、uh, and you can take it online www. my Footprint 
org, and it takes only about five minutes, and you can find out how big your footprint is, and then you can play with it a little bit to find out how to lighten it up. And then uh, uh, the... Uh, Really cutting edge stuff that Matis is doing, the work that he's doing, you can find that on the web, www.footprintnetwork.org. So again, that's www.myfootprint.org to take the quiz. And then you can also go to footprintnetwork.org to um, actually read up a lot about the concepts of ecological footprints and uh, and, and some of the, the key concepts that, uh, that Matis has developed with others uh, over the years. And also, just in case you didn't get the address of the Berkeley Eco House, that's 1305 Hopkins, right here in Berkeley, and it's the crossing with Peralta. That's about five minutes from North Berkeley Bart, and on the fourth Sunday of each month, you can go uh, take a look at it. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the books in the three minutes or so we have left. Um, uh, lim- limits to growth uh, originally. Actually, explain a little bit about the history of it and who Donella and, and Dennis Meadows were. Donella's passed on, you were telling me earlier. The Club of Rome, which was a collection of very eminent uh, industrialists, they came together and looked at the, they call it the pred- predicament of humanity. They say, how can we expand on a limited planet? How will that work out. And Jay Forrester, a professor of systems dynamics from MIT, uh, came to them and said, now we are able to actually have a computer model to look at various scenarios, to play out various choices and see how they will actually uh, act out in the future. And so they did. And with his students, then students, they took the lead at Donella Meadows, uh, Jorgen Runders, and uh, Dennis Meadows were all involved in that. And uh, they were in their early 20s and produced then this report called Limits to Growth, which just kind of shattered people's worldviews and, and became a bestseller was going kind to of on the Time magazine front page and and just start a whole debate and people wondered whether limits really apply to the human economy or not. Now, 30 years later, when we look at the, the Kyoto procedure and climate change, uh, actually that we have ecological limits is now fairly well recognized. We just don't know yet how to share the limited pie that is available. But actually, if you look at their um, uh, calculations and at their at their discussion, it's amazingly topical. I mean, 30 years ahead, they say, we would be 6 billion people in the year 2000. Guess what? We were 6 billion people. Now, how many people will it be in 30 years from now? Not many people know with as much uh, <laughs> insight. So actually, their, 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 the way of thinking about the world in more systematic terms and systemic terms, how things interconnect, was a very useful start, and we have come a long way since. Now we just have to make progress even faster to actually turn things around. And, and what we're going to be offering is the 30-year update, which just came out this year, 2004, of Limits to Growth. And the second book, which we mentioned earlier, is kind of a comic book that you wrote about 10 Actually, years ago? Actually, uh, I would say comic book is perhaps a bit of an exaggeration, but we try to make the concept as accessible as possible. So it, it has pictures. If you just read the captions to the pictures, probably you get about 95% of the ideas, and then there are also the more serious discussions of what's natural capital, uh, what's sustainable development. What kind of actions can we take to actually reduce our ecological footprint? What's the benefit? Because in the end, people say, oh, reducing the ecological footprint is about misery in the future. Actually, the key is how can we maintain our ecological assets? And the footprint is just a tool, like a bank statement. You know? We don't, I mean, we are, we are glad the bank sta- sends bank statements. Uh, sometimes the news may not be as good, but it helps us to manage our assets more effectively. The same with the footprint. It helps us to manage our ecological assets more effectively. So it's a, it's a promise, not a curse. It, it would be interesting if, if you know, every month, you know, uh, uh, environmental checks bounced and we weren't able to pay our bills. That, that might be an idea to propose. Yeah, and then their earth got repossessed by <laughs> Martians. <laughs> Exactly. Well, um, we really want to thank all of you, actually, for being here. I wanted to make sure that before um, before you have to leave us, that um, you do give um, out some uh, extra contact information in case people want to uh, find out how to either reach your organizations or um, find out how to uh, you know research this issue in more depth. Perhaps we can start with you, Greg. Yeah. EcoHouse has a sort of nascent website. It's being updated right now, so don't be too alarmed by its state, but it's www.ecohouse.org, E-C-O-H-O-U-S-E.org. And if you want to get involved, send an email to info 
at ecohouse.org. A couple of other resources that I as an architect appreciate. In Berkeley, we are lucky to have the uh, Green Resource Center in downtown Berkeley, which is sponsored by the Nine County Bay Area Coalition. And anybody living within that area can get free advice about what to do with your building projects. And so they have a great website with a lot of resources at greenresourcecenter.org. Uh, all one word, and they also have a toll-free number. If They have an Ask an Expert uh, program, so you can call in and ask what kind of insulation can you put in or what kind, where can you get photovoltaics, and their phone number for that is 888-40-GREEN. That's 888-40-GREEN. And again, the uh, website is greenresourcecenter, all one word, dot org. Um, Anne? Okay. If people would like to read the report on the study we did of Sonoma's per capita ecological footprint. There's a good report available online at www.sustainablesonoma.org. And uh, if you want to see the work that we've continued to do to try and lighten our footprint in Sonoma County and elsewhere by reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, that's at www.skymetrics.us. And finally, Matis Fakanago, how can people reach you or your organization and you have a website? But phone numbers are always used for people yeah. who don't have yeah. access to technology. You can go to Google, put in Ecological Footprint, and you find 50,000 websites. So that's a start if you have an empty afternoon. Um, or you can just directly visit us at www.footprintnetwork.org. That's footprintnetwork.org. And to calculate your own footprint, myfootprint.org will do the trick. Any phone numbers? Uh, I know the Green Resource Center has a phone number. I don't know if you have that on hand. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. We gave it out. 888 green And the Footprint Network can be reached at 510-839-8879. That's 510-839-8879. And the Climate Protection Campaign is 707-829-1224. Thanks so much to all of you. We'll take a very short music break, and then we're going to offer you opportunities to get both of these books, Limits to Growth, as well as Our Ecological Footprint. So stay tuned. Okay, um, if you want those books, let me give you the phone number right away. I know you're waiting for that number. It is 510-848-6767. No, I'm sorry. It's 510-HEY-KPFA, which is 510-439-5732. It's 800-439-5732. Or 510-848-5732. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. What what do we have to offer people, Michelle, and how much do they need to pay to get it? And not not to pay, but to support us. Uh, If if indeed you enjoyed what you just heard and what you, if you enjoyed what you've heard in the past on Terra Verde, our weekly discussions on environmental issues. Last week we talked about restoration ecology. And every, every week we bring you a different topic, guests from around the Bay Area, around the nation, around the world, 
uh, talking about these issues, giving you practical solutions in your own community that you can uh, implement. We have actually four callers on the line, three callers on the line, and they're pledging for the book Limits to Growth or Our Ecological Footprint. Uh, and if you call in right now, you can get a copy too. So those numbers again, 510-848-5732, which is 510-848-KPFA. Hey, K- no, KPFA, sorry. I'm really doing this badly today. Or if you're outside the Media Bay Area, 1-800-439-5732, 1-800-HEY-KPFA. And you know, one of the great things that I really enjoy actually about um, both Terra Verde and uh, KPFA in general is the fact that we, um, because we live in the Bay Area and we have access to so many really fantastic um, experts who are really international experts. I mean, I know that Matthias wouldn't want to say this, but, you know, he is really one of the um, world's most renowned um, ecological footprint um, experts and, in fact, almost coined the term, you know, yourself. And so I know that you didn't want to toot your own horn, but we are able to get um, fantastic folks like this on Terra Verde and not only be able to um, tap into their brains, but also be able to... um, you know, find out about really practical things that you can do. And so um, I wanted to um, make sure that um, you knew that we make a real effort every week to be able to bring you the kind of programming that um, reflects our own community as well as reflects a sense of being able to um, take action and not just find out about things, but to also to take action. And so um, on that note, we'd want, like to be able to talk a little bit more about the books. Now, our ecological footprint um, is fantastic because it has um, wonderful kind of cartoons and, and, and it's very, very accessible. And I wanted to um, make sure that, Mathis, um, that we could get a commitment from you to sign them because you, you did it. Will you do? I will. Okay, great. So those of you who actually call in and you get the premium, you can get a signed copy of Our Ecological Footprint, which really um, is, is, is a fantastic gift. And if you could tell us um, maybe um, a little bit about, um, you know, one of the key concepts when I was flipping through it, there was the um, concept of an ecological overshoot. If you could just, um, in a sentence, tell us a little bit about that and, and, and what's in the book. I think one confusion with the, th- with the term limits to growth was that people thought limits are like hard walls. You bang in, into a limit and then that's it. You will feel it. But actually, ecological limits can very easily be exceeded. And that's what's called overshoot. We can harvest fish more rapidly than they restock. We can cut forests more rapidly than they regrow. That's what's called ecological overshoot. And so, really, um, you can find out a little bit more about um, um, this concept and also, I mean, real practical ways, actually, that you can reduce your footprint um, as um, similar to the kinds of stuff that Greg and, and all of us were talking about today by um, calling in and supporting uh, Terra Verde and KPFA um, by phoning 848-5732. That's 848-KPFA. Or if you're outside the Bay Area, 1-800-439-5732. And we have just one call on the line. Somebody else picked up the phone and then hung up. So please call back. We have a number of volunteers sitting out there, and they're waiting for your call. So if you call right now, you can pledge to support Terra Verde directly. And that means we bring you the kind of information we brought you today. But, I mean, over the years, Terra Verde is probably over seven years old now. I forget exactly. I think it's close to eight years old, actually, now. And uh, over the course of time, we brought you the voices of most every organization and issue uh, here in the Bay Area and uh, around California. And if you've listened to the show over the years, you will have appreciated the fact that Judy Barry, David Brown, so many of our environmental leaders who passed on were here live in the studios, and we continue to do that. We continue to bring you voices of people, not after they've passed away, not after, you know, successes have been measured, but during the struggles, the struggles from uh, the Redwoods, I mean, uh, all throughout the the last eight years, talking and and bringing you people directly from the, uh, sitting in the trees, who are you know telling us you know like Julia Butterfly. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, there's going to be another pepper spray trial, and we'll try and bring you some voices of people like Alicia Little Tree, uh, who who've been so active in supporting. Uh, the environment and working for the environment around Northern California. These are some of the voices that you'll hear here, here on Terra Verde. Now, we just got a price, uh, or rather, a, a, a donation amount uh, in, in exchange for which we'll send you this book. It's just $60 to get our ecological footprint by Mathis Vakanagel, whom you're listening to here live in the studios, and he will sign that. So there's only 10 books, so the 
uh, sooner you call, uh, the uh, quicker you'll get that signed copy. We also have own just five copies of Donella and uh, Dennis Meadows' book, Limits to Growth, the 30-year update, just came out this year, 2004, and that too is yours for a pledge of $60. And think about it, $60 is $5 a month. I mean, that's not even the price of a burrito. It's It's the price of, you know, Three cups of coffee, perhaps you know what if you gave up a cup a coffee every month every week, you could afford uh, a copy of this book and a year's worth of free listening to kpfa really and we um we really uh, rely on your support to be able to bring you the kind of corporate-free and commercial-free um, radio that I know that you've come to depend on. So um, pick up your phone. We know you're out there. We know you listen. And we know that some of you have already um, supported KPFA in the past, and so we thank you for that, and we ask you to support us again if you can. Um, if you have just been listening and, um, you know, think that you can spare a cup of coffee or the equivalent of a cup of coffee, and you think that it's, that's important enough to you in order to get the kinds of um, independent uh, corporate free programming that you receive here at KPFA, then we encourage you to call us now at 848 5732. That's 848 5732. And really, it's. Um it's only here on KPFA that you can really kind of um, get the um, edgy kind of programming that I know that um, I have really, really relied on, especially in these times. So pick up your phone. Thank you for that caller who's just called in. And, um, you know, we would like to be able to uh, show you our support, our, sorry, our appreciation for your support. Um, again, $60 um, will... Uh, will uh, get you a um, fantastic signed copy of Our Ecological Footprint by Matthias Wagernackel, or you can also choose the um, new updated version of Limits to Growth. Um, and this one, as um, as Matthias had said before, really was just a seminal publication 30 years ago, and now it's sort of been revisited. So it's brand new. And um, can you imagine getting such a fantastic updated book and at the same time supporting Terverde and KPFA? I think that's a fantastic deal. So call that number again, 510-848-5732, 1-800-439-5732. Two callers on the line. We need to double the number of callers. That's really not very much. I know it's lunchtime and you're probably munching in your sandwich or, or, or some such thing, but if you can put it down for a second, there's somebody who just did just that. Three, four callers, two people put down their sandwiches, and thank you. We already doubled it. Maybe we've got to get eight callers on the line now. Five, six. Wow, that's amazing. You just say it and it happens. There's six callers on the line right now. Why don't you join them? You can do this very simply and easily. You pledge, uh, sixty dollars. We can take it out of your bank account. Uh, just five dollars a month. You can give us a credit card and pay it off in a couple of months. Just call uh, the friendly volunteers uh, at 1-800-439-5732, 1-800-HEY-KPFA, uh, or 510-848-KPFA, 510-848-5732. If you call those numbers, there are people waiting by to help you, uh, help you uh, get these uh, gifts. So please call in right now and uh, pledge your donation to us uh, because that will keep it. This is the last day, I think, actually, of our pledge drive. It's a very short summer drive, but if if you don't call in right now, we might have to... It goes through Sunday night, I actually made a mistake. But um, let's uh, try and get it over by Sunday night so the next Friday we can bring you unabridged programming without the breaks asking you for money. So please call in right now. The number of those five callers has gone down to four. So if you've finished your sandwich, join them because uh, we, we need that help uh, right now. And we really want to, um, to uh, stress to you that these are Listeners just like yourself will pick up the phone who are volunteering their lunch break to be able to um, help out the studio, and we need your help as well. Um, so at this point, we would love to send out our thanks and our props to Steve Della Maggiore from Napa. Thank you for your support. Howard Wren from Vesalia, who also pledged as well. Thank you. Jake Anderson from, well, let's see. Willits. 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 Oh, excuse me. From Willits. Uh, well, Dave thank Fisk. you so much. We're um, really glad that you're a supporter of Terra Verde and of KPFA. We rely on you every day. And um, Aaron Schal Schalnick, actually, of San Mateo, thank you so much. We appreciate your help. And um, we hope that if you join these um, fantastic supporters at the level of $60 or over, that you'll be able to um, get one of these um, fantastic premiums that we have on offer for you today. Again, this um, uh, updated 30-day brand-new book, Limits to Growth, and um, a signed copy of our Ecological Footprint by... Um, 
Matthias Wangernackel, signed by kind of the uh, the expert himself, and so um, you will completely enjoy it. It's a great read, and it's extremely accessible, and uh, it it really allows you to get your head around some of these, um, I think, simple although profound concepts of ecological footprint. We've gone down from five callers, actually six callers, down to one again. So we need people to call in right now, and maybe some of you are disappointed because you're not hearing making contact. We apologize. They were very kind to give us their s- spot this week, and not. Normally during pledge drives we trade off, and one week they do an hour, and one week uh, we do an hour. This week, this this summer, it's just a one week pledge drive. They will return next week. We promise you, especially if you call in right now and pledge. So those numbers again, one eight hundred Hey KPFA. There's nobody on the line, so this is very disappointing. We really need you to put down that sandwich. We need you to walk over to the phone and make a call and say that you care about everybody. The fact that you know this is probably the only environmental radio show in the Bay Area. I believe this. One other early on Sunday morning, but you know we're, we're in the centre of you know supposedly the most environmental community in the country, and yet only one radio station has cared about keeping ecological programming going. And I, I actually made a mistake when I said it's the only radio show because there are other, this is the only radio station that does regular environmental program because Terravert is not the only program that does it. It's also Seven Generations. It's also the morning show. It's also shows like Democracy Now! and Flashpoints and every other show on the station that e- regularly brings you ecological programming. We do have one call on that line. Won't you please join that caller in the two or three minutes we have left. In the two or three minutes you can show your support for Terra Verde. Please call right now, 1-800-439-5732, 1-800-HEY-KPFA, or 510-848-5732, 510-848-KPFA. Say thank you to myself, Prothep Chatterjee, and to Michelle Chanfischel. The two of us volunteer here. We've been coming here for years. Nobody pays us for this. Nor do most people at KPFA get paid. Uh, probably 90% of the 200-odd people that make this station run like clockwork, uh, or almost like clockwork, uh, over 24 hours a day, 365 days a year are volunteers. But we need your money just to help to pay for the, elec- to pay for the electricity bills, you know, to be able to pay the rent, you know, the mortgage, uh, to be able to pay for the electricity. We, 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 if you give us, you know, if you give us a large enough grant, maybe we can take up the carpets and figure out some ecological way uh, to, you know, to soundproof this that will will actually d- uh, Im- dramatically improve our health. So And your allergies. Probably. And my allergies. Of course, yeah. So um, we really ask you to support us. The fantastic thing is that there are four people on the line, and we would like to get more people on. Um, we are just closing out in the last couple of minutes, and so if we can go ahead and um, get some more calls right under the wire, then we can hopefully make our targets. You know, we don't like to be um, – we don't like to – have to beg you for money so many times a year, but you know what? Um, when cash is short, when we can't meet our bills, we have to stick in an extra little week, which is what we're doing this summer. And so, um, hey, help us make this shorter. Help us um, do this less frequently. Send in your pledge and send in your support. Show us that you're out there. Show us that you care. Um, if you send in $60 or more or commit to $60 or more, again, we have fantastic premiums. We have a signed, your, you can get your own signed copy of our ecological footprint and um, enjoy that as well as the um, book Limits to Growth, you have your own choice. So pick up the phone. There's only a couple more minutes. Um, and just get in and under the wire and um, show your support for KPFA. Four callers on the line. Those numbers again, 510-848-5732, 510-848-KPFA, 1-800-439-5732 or 1-800-HEY-KPFA. We just have about uh, a minute uh, uh, or so left. And so uh, I'm wondering, actually, for those that might have tuned in late and me, wondering what we're talking about, since we have Mathis uh, Vakanagel here in the studio, do you want to give people perhaps, again, those websites and information for people who might have missed? How, how can they find out uh, more about their footprint? Just in a few come, seconds. Come and join us at www.footprintnetwork.org or calculate your footprint at myfootprint.org. So that's footprintnetwork.org. And that's about ecological sustainability, the impact we have on the earth. Find out your own impact and that of our planet. Uh, We'll have to wrap it up right now. I'm Pratap Chaji, and Michelle Chanfischel is going to thank a few more people. Yes, we'd like to thank you, Robert Mason of San Francisco, um, Catherine Vianello from Santa Rosa, Robin Bacchus from Danville, and John Manson Santos from San Francisco. Thank you, all of you, for being supporters of Terra Verde and of KPFA. Have a fantastic weekend, and thank you for your support. Thanks so much, and thanks also to William Walker, who helped engineer this show. Thank you all.
time now, 59 minutes after the hour, 1-800-439-5732, 510-848-5732. Making contact, which normally airs at this time, will return next Friday at 1.30 p.m. But up next, we have a production of the Drama and Literature Department here at KPFA, Arts and Humanities Department. It's called Radio Chronicles. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alafia, everybody. Come celebrate Africa and the